children today we are going to discuss about the topic sex sex a set is a well defined collection of objects a set is a well defined collection of objects well defined means well defined means described clearly for example for example set of poets set of poets for example set of poets what are the poets i mean a e i o u a e i o u take another example set of set of natural numbers set of natural numbers set of natural numbers I'm starting one one comma two comma three comma four up to infinity this is the well defined set and this is also well defined sets these are these are these are called elements these are called elements a b e, i o u those are called elements these these curly brackets are symbol for sets this curly brackets are symbol for sets next generally the sets representation by two methods generally the sets representation by two methods one is one is roster method one is roster method or or rule listed method or listed method and another one is another one is set builder form and then set builder form and the one is set builder form what is meant by roster method what is meant by roster method roster method means list of elements roster method means list of elements for example for example for example the set of the set of the set of poets the set of poets from alphabetic letters alphabetic letters so all of you know what are the poets a e i o u the list of elements so one more example one more example the set of the set of letters the set of letters bold magnets bold magnets the set of letters bold magnets so your set a is equal to m comma a comma p comma h e i c yes in the set to the elements not repeated do not repeated m comma a comma t comma h comma e comma i comma c and as these are elements these are elements so this is called this is called roster method so coming to the set builder form coming to the set builder form coming to the set builder form set builder form set builder form set builder form is the elements the elements building building instead of instead of elements sorry instead of elements for example particular instead of elements for example a is equal x such that x belongs to n 0 less than x less than Less than x less than nine. So here a is equal here x belongs to n. X belongs to n. X is belongs to n. I mean natural number zero less than x less than nine. I mean zero to nine up to nine. So sorry. one less than x less than nine. So one two three. 
over 5 C. These are elements. One more example. One more example. The set B is equal to X such that X belongs to X belongs to whole number 0 less than X less than equal to 5. I mean from 0 to 5 elements. I mean from 0 to 5 elements. So the set B is equal to 0 comma 1 comma, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4 comma, 5. In a set, the contains the elements 0 comma, 1 comma, 2 comma, 3 comma, 4 comma, and 5. Next, next topic is types of sets. Next topic is types of sets. Types of sets, here, types of sets are empty set, single set, Finite set, infinite set, equal sets, and the equal sets, and quadrant numbers, subset, and disjoint sets. Let's discuss types of sets. First of all, empty set. First of all, empty set. Empty set. Empty set means a set does not contain any element. A set does not contain any element. For example, for example, the set of natural numbers less than 1. The set of natural numbers less than 1. The set of natural numbers less than 1. Actually, the natural numbers starting with 1 up to infinity. There is no natural number before 1. There is no natural number before 1. That's why this set is belongs to set is belongs to empty set. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. The set of even prime number. The set of even prime number. The set of even prime number. The set of even prime number from 4 to 10. From 4 to 10. The set of even prime number from 4 to 9. Actually, previously we learned prime numbers. What are the prime numbers? The prime numbers having only two factors. The prime numbers having only two factors. I mean, the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. These are called prime numbers. These are called prime numbers. So, from 4 to 10, we have, we have 5 and 7. From 4 to 10, we have 5 and 7. 5 and 7 are odd numbers. 5 and 7 are odd numbers. But we are, we are asking the set of even prime number. Even prime number. The prime number is represented even number. So there is no even prime number between 4 to 10. That's why this belongs to empty set. That's why this belongs to empty set. So this is called this is called empty set and this is called empty set. Empty set also called a void set and null set. Empty set also called void set and null set. So the symbols for these are symbols for empty set. These are symbols for empty set. Next going to single null set. Next going to single null set. So, single time set means singular. Single time set means a set contains only one element. A set contains single time set. A set contains only one element. Single time set. Single time set. A set contains only one element. For example, for example, the even prime number, the even prime number, the even, the set of even prime number, even prime number. So, even prime number, 2 is the only even prime number, 2 is the only even prime number. In, in the set, we have only one element. In the set, we have only one element, that is 2. That is true. That's why this belongs to this belongs to singular. Let's take one more example. Let's take one 
algorithm. So the set of the set of the set of natural numbers, natural number, the set of natural number less than one. The set of natural number less than one. Actually, natural numbers are started with one. One comma two comma four comma up to infinity. The set of natural numbers less than one. Actually, the natural numbers are started with one, two, three up to infinity. There is no natural number less than one. There is no natural number less than one. So this is not belongs to simple and said. Why? Because there is no element. Why? Because there is no element. This is not belongs to simple and said. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. The set of the set of whole number whole number less than one. The set of whole number less than one. Actually, the whole numbers are starting with zero. Actually, the whole numbers are starting with zero up to infinity. Infinity. What I am asking, the set of whole numbers less than one. Yeah, less than one. Yeah, less than one is zero. Zero is there. So there is only one element in the given set. That's why the example third one is belongs to. Single term set. Next, we are going to finite set and infinite set. Next, we are going to finite set and infinite set. What is meant by finite set? What is meant by finite set? So, finite set means the finite set means in a given set we are possible to count in the elements. In a given set we are possible to Counting the elements, they, they are called finites. They are called finites. For example, for example, the set of the set of even natural numbers, even natural numbers. So we know what are the natural numbers. Also we know what are the even numbers. Even natural numbers are Let's take a is equal to comma, four comma, even natural numbers less than eleven. Even natural numbers less than eleven. Let's say is equal to comma, four comma, six comma, eight comma, ten. What they are asking? The set of even natural numbers less than eleven. So it is equal to two, four, six, eight, and ten. Yeah, only five elements are. There. So we are easily possible to count in the given counting the elements in the given sets. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. The set of the set of the set of prime numbers. The set of prime numbers less than less than ten. The set of prime numbers less than ten. And we know what are the prime numbers. Previously we learned. So natural so prime numbers start with two, three, up to infinity. So the first sorry prime number is two, and the three, and the five, and seven. Yeah, enough. So the set A is equal to two comma, three comma, five comma, and seven. Here yeah, four elements are there easily. We are counting the elements in the given set. This is the this is the belongs to this is belongs to finite sets. Next, infinite set. The opposite of finite. The opposite of finite. Infinite set. Infinite sets. Infinite sets. The opposite of finite. So we are unable to Unable to count in the elements in the given set. We are unable to count in the elements in the given set. For example, for example, the natural numbers, the set of natural numbers, the set of natural numbers, the set 
from the set of natural numbers. Natural numbers are short, uh, short with 1, 2, up to infinity. There is no end. There is no end. The set A is equal to 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, up to infinity. Up to infinity. There is no end. That's why that is belongs to infinite set. So, let's take one more example. The multiples of the multiples of five. The multiples of five. So, multiples of five. You know what are the multiples? It's like a I mean table. So, five comma ten comma fifteen comma twenty up to infinity. Up to infinity. So, this is also called finite. This is also called finite. These are finite and infinite. Is it clear? Next, we are going to equal sets. Next, we are going to equal sets. All of you know equal, what is meant by the word equal. So, equal sets. So, equal sets means Equal sets means equal sets means the given two sets we are having same elements. The given two sets we are having same elements. They are called equal sets. They are called equal sets. For example, A is equal one comma two comma three comma four. Also, B is equal one comma two comma Four. Here, in set we are having 1, 2, 3, 4. Also, in B we are having 1, comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. Now, if they are given two sets are having same element. That's why A and B is called equal sets. That's why A and B is called equal sets. So, A and B. A is equal to B and A and B are, A and B are equal. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. So, let's A is equal to 2 comma, 4 comma, 6 comma, 8. Uh, even natural numbers less than 10. Alright. B is equal to 2 comma, 4 comma, 8 comma, 6. So, here also, B also, even as the numbers less than 10. So, A and B are having same elements. A and B are having same elements. That's why A and B is called equal sets. That's why A and B is called equal sets. Next. Next. Cardinal number. Next one. Cardinal number. Cardinal number set. Cardinal number set. What is meant by cardinal number set? Actually, the cardinal number set is the set of elements. The set of the number of uh, sorry. The set of elements in a set is called cardinal numbers the, sorry, the number of elements in a set the number of the number of elements in a set the number of elements in a set is called cardinal number of set for example a is equal to comma 3 comma 5 comma 7. Here, 4 elements are there. Here, 4 elements are there. So, n of a is equal to 4. n of a is equal to 4. I mean, number of elements present, number of elements presented a is equal to 4. Let's take another example. Let's take another example. a is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20. A is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20. Here also 4 elements are there. Here also 
four elements are there. So n of j is equal four. N of j is equal four. I mean number of elements present in j is equal to four. Next coming to the equivalences. Next coming to the equivalences. So equal and sex means equal and sex means equal and sex means in the given two sets are having in the given two sets are having same number of elements same number of elements they are called equal and sex they are called equal and sex repeat again the number of elements are same. The number of elements are same. For example, set A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7. Set A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7. Set B is equal Set B is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah. Set A contains 2, 3, 5, 7 elements. Set B contains 2, 4, 6, 8 elements. Here, in a set we are having 4 elements. In a set we are having 4 elements. Okay? Number of elements present in A is equal to 4. Number of elements present in B is equal to 4. Here, number of elements are same. Here, number of elements are same. That's why A and B is called that's why a and b is called equivalent sets. So a equivalent to b. A equivalent to b. Then next going to the subset. Next going to the subset. So next going to the, going to the subset. Subset. Subset means S. Every element of every element of set A is also element of set B. Every element of set A is also every element of set B. For example, for example, A is equal. 2, 3, 5, 7. 2, 3, 5, 7. And B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, up, up to 10. Up to 10. Here A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7. Here B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. What is meant by subset? Already we discussed what? All the elements of A are present in B. All the elements of A are present in B. So 2 is there, 3 is there, and 5 is there, and 7 is there. So that's why A is said to be subset of B. That's why A is said to be subset of B. This is the symbol for subset. This is the symbol for subset. Let's take one more example. Let's take one more example. B is equal to 4, 6, 8. B is equal to 4, 6, 8. And A is equal again 1, 2, 4, up to 10. Up to 10. So here B contain the elements 2, 4, 6, 8. Here A contain 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 10. So all the elements of the set B are having in set A. Having in set A. So B is said to be subset of A. Yes. B is subset of A. B is subset of A. This is meant by subset of sets. Next, coming to the design sets. Next, coming to the design sets.
designed cells. In a given cells, in a given cells, there will be two or more. In a given cells, there is no common elements. There is no common elements. They are called disjoint cells. In a given two cells, there is no common element. They are called disjoint cells. For example, A is equal 5, 10, 15, 20. Set A is equal 5, 10, 15, and 20. Set B is equal 2, 4, 6, 8. So B can be 2, 4, 6, 8. Here A is equal 5, 10, 15, and 20. Here B is equal 2, 4, 6, and 8. There is no common elements. There is no common elements in the given case. So these are called a and B, these are called the joint cells. These are, these are called the joint cells. There is no common element. Next, one more example. A is equal. A is equal. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Next, B is equal. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Here also, here also there is no common element. Here also there is no common element. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14. There is no common elements in given two cells. That's why these are belongs to the joints. These are belongs to the joints. These are belongs to the joint cells. So, design cells means there is no common elements in the given cells. Next, basic operations of cells. Basic operations of cells. Very important. Very important. Four marks questions. Four marks questions. Very important. Basic operations of cells. First of all, let's discuss about union cells. Yes. Discuss about appearances. Appearances means the combination of the combination of elements given to cells. The combination of elements given to cells. For example, A is equal one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. B is equal two comma, four comma, three comma, eight. B is equal 2 comma, 4 comma, 6 comma, 8. What we have discussed about union cells? Union cells means the combination of elements of given two cells. A union B. A union B. A union B. This is symbol for union. This is symbol for union. So, here in the... So, A means the elements of given two cells, the elements of given two cells, all the elements of given two cells, writing single cell. Writing single cell. So, one, next element, next element two, three, four, five, next element six, eight, and ten. Already we have discussed, do not repeat the elements. Alright, we have discussed, do not repeat the elements. That's why I will not repeat it to four elements. So A B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. So, for example, under example, A is equal to set of moments. A is equal to set of moments. A is equal to set of moments. And B is equal to set of alpha bits from A to B. From A to B. Yeah, A is equal to set of moles means A is equal to A, B, I, O, U. A, B, I, O, U. B is equal to what they are asking set of Alphabet letters, set of alphabet letters from A to E. A to E means 
So difference of sets. Difference of sets. The set of the set of the elements of set A. The difference of elements of set A and B, which are contain belongs to A, which are does not contain belongs to B. I mean, A belongs uh, the set of elements belongs to A, but does not belongs to B. The set of elements belongs to A, does not belongs to B. For example, two, four, six, eight, one, two, three, four. What we discuss? The, the elements belongs to A, does not belongs to B. First of all. First of all, you check common elements. Yes, can you the common elements? Here, two and two are common elements. Combining elements of A is called difference of value. Combining elements, what are Also, also for you. What are the combining elements of A? The combining elements of A is six and three. Combining elements of A is the difference of A and B is 6 and 8. The difference of A and B is 6 and 8. One more example. One more example. A is equal to 1 plus of 5. 5 and 1, 15, 20, 25. B is equal to B is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. So, here, just cancel the common elements. What are the common elements? 5, 5. The remaining elements of A. What are the remaining elements of A? 10, 15, 20, and 25. So, by A difference, B is equal. 10, 15, 20, and 20. This is called difference of, this is called difference of A and B.